Hey everyone, it's Cassie from Gone Grooming and today we're going to be grooming. Hey Tucker, come here. Hi. Turn around. There you go. He is a St. Bernard mixed with a Greek Pyrenees, so keep watching. I know I'm going to get all nice and pretty again. Hi, Tuck. Hi. Hi, good morning. <laughs> so today we're going to be de-shedding him and doing a very light trim on him. We're going to get him on the table, brush out some of this undercoat here with a slicker and then an undercoat rake. And then we're going to get him in the tub, wash him, blow dry him, and then stick him back on the table and do the whole process all over again. And so, yes. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. All right. Bye. Bye. You are such a nice boy. All right, so let's check out your undercoat here. Actually, the best way I can do that is to turn the blower on. So you see that film? Usually that'll separate. It's already blowing off air all over the place. And he's got dry in there. So all of this is going to blow out really nicely. We just have to have this. Hang out I'm going to take my slicker and my other brush and go through his coat. So what this is going to do is this is going to break up a lot of that undercoat and the fur to actually draw out a lot of the natural oils. And I do this before a D-shed. Even with big boys like this, right? So already just the brushing in general. I'm getting off a nice chunk of this. You ready for a bath? I love how your eyes, like, he's got the droopy St. Bernard eyes, but he also has the great Pyrenees droopy eyes. It's really cool. And how's your ears? Yeah, we're gonna have to clean them. So he's probably gonna be in this tub for a good hour. Because just to transfer him from here to the table, I might as well do most of the work in the tub. I usually wash the entire body first and then absolutely last they do the neck and the head and that helps to avoid excessive shaking. They're gonna shake no matter what, but I wanna try to avoid excessive. This is his first bath. Oh, first bath? That's his first bath. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, everyone just thinks that the mobile is like... Easier to get onto. Yeah, yeah. it's not. Look at this. I gotta use that one time. Well, it's better than getting calluses on your hands. This depends on like how dirty the dogs are maybe, or what maybe. kind of shampoo I use that day. Yeah. A lot maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, and also the seasons. Yeah. Baby shark. You look like a dinosaur. We're gonna blow dry him in the tub to get all that excess water and the hair. And then we'll put them on the table and give them the ultimate dry. High heat, high velocity blow dryer is really going to help him out. Woo. Oh, the container's full. <laughs> I'm not joking. Whoa. Oh, hi, bud. You ready to get blow dried? You're such a sweet boy. Oh, that's how tall he is. No, 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 um, don't go that close because I don't have a good history with your rule. <laughs> All right, you ready? You have to get down. Thank you.
lot more that's gonna come off. <laughs> but I gotta get him out of the tub because it's so humid in here. <sighs> Um, all right, so what I like to do is blow out the coat as much uh, yep. <laughs> blow out the coat as much as possible so that it naturally desheds it out of them. And then I go in with the slicker, take the brush to it, and then I'll go in with my undercoat rake. I'm not a huge fan of the Furminator, so this one comes in and grips the hair. And I'm just going to do that to his entire body. But before we do that, let's work on his feet. Ooh, let's see those nails. Yeah, I can see it much better in, in here Good. than in front. Good. And I don't remember how he is with nails, but I'm really not concerned because... Ah, ah, ah. They're not too bad? I don't remember how he is. I don't really I mean, they don't seem that long. No, they don't. He probably has the ones that grind themselves down. Well, he's got a dew claw back there, and where is it? There it is. See that dew claw? Yes, now we, usually, can, yes, now we can see it. Usually, Pyrenees have a double dew claw, and as we were explaining in the tub, it's to help them climb mountains uh, to herd. I know, bud. I know. Just trust me. Knuckle boobs. I know, bud. This is a weird angle, buddy. There we go. That's better. I know. Oh, I shot myself in the <laughs> eye. Okay. I gotta get that dew claw, but I'll get that. You won't be able to see that. Good boy. That's the dew claw in the back. See if I can do your fronts. And I'm just gonna flick his wrist. There we go. Good boy. Oh, he's like pulling. Good boy, Tucker. Your feet are still wet, but that's okay. We'll get to that later. Real quick. Well, you're letting me do all your nails. You said you're a good boy. That was your nails. You did a good job. I want to take a nap with you. I know. You're so handsome. Ugh. All right, so what I'm going to do is brush him out and finish up doing the pads of his feet. And then we're going to take about a 10 minute break. And then I'm going to rebrush his entire body and shape it up. We're not going to take much off his body because with his double coated breed, that's not good for them. So, uh, yeah. Aw, buddy. Aw, oh, you're so tired. I love him. I'll hold him. Oh, I just put my whole arm in his mouth. Good job. <laughs> I want to put my arm around him. I want to put my arm in his mouth. <laughs> oh, I love it when it's shaped up. It looks so good. He's so good, boy. No, it's too cheap. <laughs> I love the butts like that, oh my gosh. And it's like, I gotta go as quickly as possible because he wants to sit. <laughs> Don't say the I word! Know, I know, as soon as I said it, I'm like, yeah, I did not do that a word. Freaking trigger words. <laughs> Anyone that's learning how to groom, don't use the word, don't sit. Use the word, stand up. Or up up. <laughs> or up up. But if you say don't sit, yeah, it's all sit. They yeah, it's sit. sit, yeah. <laughs> See your hiney. Ooh, your hiney's looking nice. You got a crack and everything. <laughs> you hear that? You got a butt crack. <laughs> you should make a funny your butthole. No. Okay. I'm just admiring his butt work. <laughs> you hear that? She likes your butt chops. Your booty. <laughs> Your fart box. 
<laughs> so for this breed, we don't want to cut it too much. And we're just lightly shaping it up. You can use scissors, blenders, shears, um, a comb. I'm using this because it's faster. And as you can see, he wants to get down. Pick your head up. I'm a good boy. Now you can sit. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's your dad. You sure I can't take him home? Say bye. Bye. Um. Wow, I just, I was thinking about my- You just lost your train of thought. <laughs> I was thinking about groceries. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go grocery shopping. Go grocery shopping! <laughs>